Hi, welcome back to a series on firearm basics for self-defense. I just want to really quickly go over how to load a magazine. Um, the magazine, well, first of all, if you haven't seen the previous videos, please go back and watch them, especially part one where we talk about safety and how to handle the firearm without accidentally killing yourself or someone you love. So go back, watch that. That's the most important video in this series. Okay, you're still here, so I'm assuming you've watched that. I want to very briefly go over how to load a magazine. Most semi-automatic handguns, and frankly most modern rifles, use a box magazine like this to load. And this is going to have your follower at the top, magazine body, and a base plate on the bottom. In order to load this, you take your round of ammunition, occasionally referred to as a cartridge, you push it, take it from the front of the magazine, push it down on the follower, and then back into the magazine. The magazine will have these, they call them feed lips, two lips on the side, um, that keep the ammunition from going out the top, um, and then when you go to fire it, the gun will, the slide will cycle, and that will catch the back of the cartridge, push it forward, and I'm putting my hand here so it doesn't go flying, um, but it'll push it forward and into the gun. So much for not going flying. When you go to load this thing, take our cartridge, also referred to as a round, push the bullet forward, push just a case, push down on the follower, and then once the follower is down, slide the cartridge back into the magazine. And then we do it again for the next one, from the front and back, from the front, and slide it back, and we're just slowly filling the magazine. Now, this is under string tension. It will be hard to do, especially when you get to those last few cartridges, last few rounds. A lot of magazines will have what they call witness holes. So these holes in the back, and they're numbered two, three, four, five, six. And you can kind of look in there, and you'll be able to see the back of the cartridge to know how many rounds are in it. So, load it, just push them down and back. And the bigger the magazine, the harder it is to put the last ones in. So like 30 round magazines, it's, it's going to hurt your thumb. Just accept it. If you need to unload a magazine, what you want to do is from the back of the cartridge, push forward with your thumb and just push it out. See, it's, I pushed it halfway out there and the rest of the way and it pops out. A mess, but just push them back with the thumb and now. Okay. So that's how to load your magazines. Let's go over how to shoot. Okay, I want to put a quick addendum on this just for safety purposes. Um, when you go to load your gun, this is fake ammunition, it's a snap cap. We'll talk about that in another video. When you go to load the gun, you take the magazine. Insert it into the gun, and when the slide goes forward, that moves the top round from the magazine into the chamber. So this gun would now be loaded. I was using fake ammo, as I said. If you then take get the mag release, you take out the magazine, there is still a, gun, a round in this gun, because one of them, when we wrecked the slide, that allowed a round to move from the magazine into the chamber, and if I slowly this back, you can see there it is. So when you go to unload a gun, you need to take out the magazine first and then make sure the chamber is empty. It just fell down. You really need to check the chamber is empty when you go to unload. Don't just look to see there's no magazine there. But actually, move my head. Um, you want to check in the chamber, and hopefully the video will catch it. Yeah, now you can see the empty black. There's nothing there. 